So you're looking to play at the next level, right? Whether that be high school, whether that be college, whether that be professional, you're looking to advance a level and move up. And one of my biggest pet peeves is people talking with their mouths instead of their skills. Okay, so I wanted to just rant a little bit about that in this video and tell you that coaches are always watching. Coaches, recruiters, scouts, they are always watching what you do. And one of the things that I first want to mention is that I think that uh, chirping a little bit and trash talking a little bit is part of every single sport. Okay, Unless you're a bowler or maybe a golf player or something like that, if you play football, if you play basketball, if you play baseball, if you have some sort of contact collision sport, um, something that is team versus team, you're going to have that chirping mentality. You're going to have guys that go at each other. You're going to have coaches that go at each other. Maybe a guy talks crap to an umpire, an official, whatever the case may be. And I think that that's just part of the game. I've never been really a chirp guy myself. Uh, I was a little bit more in football than I am in baseball just because football is more aggressive. It's more of a, um, I don't want to say more of a manly sport, but it's more um, you know, you have to get pumped up, you have to get motivated, you have to get pissed off in order to play well in it. And baseball is kind of kind of a little bit different than that. You can be relaxed. You don't have to be Johnny Intense out there. You can just relax a little bit and you're, you're, you're just playing with your skills. And um, one of the biggest things that drives me nuts is guys that talk back to officials or umpires. If there's a player on your team that's really uh, struggling, they're making mental mistakes, something like that, I'm not saying that I have a problem with you getting on that guy. I'm not saying that if there's a if there's a you know a skeptical play, you know um, a collision or something like that where a guy doesn't try and get out of the way or does something intentional. I'm not saying that I want you to just sit there and let it happen and let the other team run all over you. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is college coaches, recruiters, scouts—they're always watching. And if you are in a game, for example, I saw this. If you're in a game and there's a strike call on you and it's inside, you know, I step out of the box sometimes if it's really inside or really up or something and they call it a strike. You know, I look back at the umpire and get a little pissed off myself just because that's what you do if you're a competitor. If you don't, if you, if you don't do that, if you don't get angry at least a little bit, then maybe you should find another sport to play because you're not a competitor. But what I hate to see is, you know, uh, a fresh count, a guy just steps in the box and strike one, it's, it's a little bit high, you know, maybe – maybe chest high, something like that, and the umpire calls it a strike. And then the guy turns around and immediately starts talking crap to the umpire, whether he's cussing, whether he's just yelling at him, whether he's giving him dirty looks. It's one strike. One strike. Now, if he's doing it all day long and it's your fourth at bat and you've gotten screwed a bunch of times up there, then I would say that situation is a little bit different. But I've also seen guys on the first strike, whether it's inside or outside, I've seen them take their bat and they use this end of the bat and they draw a line where the ball crossed the plate. So you're you're hitting up there, you know, you're ready to go, up oh, it's inside, they call it a strike, and guys do this with their bat and draw a line. I mean, are you kidding me? You're gonna do that, especially if it's on the first strike or second strike. And if I was a coach, if I was a recruiter, if I was a scout and I saw that, I would say, nah, I don't want this kid on my team. This kid will be a cancer to our program, cancer to our team, cancer to our organization, and I don't want a kid like that. So if a scout, if a recruiter, or if anybody sees that and they're at one of your games and they see that or they see you cussing out an umpire or um, another coach or something like that, instantly like that, all your hard work could go to waste because you could be completely off their radar. So I just wanted to rant a little bit about that to you guys. I'm not saying that to completely take the chirpiness out of sports. I, I definitely don't believe that. I think that chirping and uh, talking a little bit is part of sports. It makes it more intense. It makes it more fun. But make sure you control it. Make sure you, um, you know, bottle everything up inside. And if, if the umpire's m making uh, bad calls on strikes, you know, widen up your zone a little bit. You shouldn't have the umpire control your zone. If you can touch it with the bat, especially with two strikes, then put a swing on it. The strike zone is for the umpire. The strike zone is not for you. You should be up there thinking that anything you can get your bat on, unless it's you know a fresh count, you're looking for that perfect pitch, anything that you can get your bat on, you should swing. Don't let the umpire decide what's a ball and a strike. Just hit one of the first pitches. Don't don't get in a two-strike situation where the umpire can ring you up or something like that. So this was just a rant. Um, hopefully you guys got a little bit out of this. Just something to consider, a little bit of uh, brain food for you guys to ponder and think about. Um, make sure you check out BaseballFitnessTips.com, DynamiteHitting.com, 
and follow me on all social media, okay? I'm becoming much more active on social media. I post to Facebook and Twitter um, on a daily basis now, multiple things, you know, articles, a bunch of mental tips, mechanical tips, all that sort of stuff. So make sure you follow me. All the links are on my channel and they're also going to be right down there below. So check out my websites. Make sure you follow me on social media. And also, once a week, I am giving away $100 to use in my online store. So you have to be subscribed. You have to be following me on social media. And then I'll run a contest. Um, like last week, I ran a contest and just said, you know, like and share this post and you're immediately entered. And there was only, you know, five or ten people that did it. And I selected a winner. He's very uh, grateful for it. And he's already using the $100 on my store. So make sure you uh, check that out on social media as well. Haven't picked a winner this week yet. So we'll get that contest rolling. Maybe you can win $100. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.